In this tutorial, you will learn how to simulate a circuit design using PSpice. Step 1. Let's create a PSpice design. Select New Project from the Start page or from the File menu. Then within the New Project GUI, give your project a name. Here, we'll name it Project underscore PSpice. Check the Enable PSpice Simulation box to enable your simulation. Once you select OK, a new GUI will pop up. Select Blank Project and select OK. Now you'll see your schematic page launch, so make sure that basic page setup is done before proceeding. Step 2. Place the PSpice models. Go to the Place menu, select PSpice Component, and Diode from the submenu. Similarly, place other PSpice components like the inductor, capacitor, and resistors. To place a MOSFET, go back to the PSpice component in the Place menu and select Search. A new PSpice part search window will open on the right side of your screen. Type IRF840 in the search window and you will see a list of MOSFETs. Double click on the required MOSFET and place it on the schematic page. Step 3. Placing voltage sources in ground. This time, go to PSpice components in the Place menu and select Modeling Applications. You will see a modeling GUI on the right side of your screen. From here, you can add independent and PWL sources. Select Independent Source, then within the GUI under the Pulse tab, Voltage is selected as the default input. Select Pulse for the Pulse Waveform and enter all the necessary parameters and click Place. Now select Independent Source again and go to the DC tab. Voltage and Ideal DC are already selected, so you will just need to enter the DC voltage value as 10 and place it. And don't forget to add ground. Place PSpice ground from the PSpice component submenu. Then arrange all the place parts in the order you want them connected and edit any component values. Step 4. Wiring. Once you've placed your parts, you can start connecting them. Choose the wire icon from the toolbar and draw connections between the part symbols. And be sure to save your design. Step 5. Simulation. Go to the PSpice menu and select New Simulation Profile. In the GUI, Enter Sim1 in the Name field and click on Create. Within the Simulation Setting GUI, set up the Analysis Profile. Under Analysis Type, select Time Domain. General Settings is selected by default. Set the runtime value as 5 milliseconds and start saving data after value as 0. Select OK. After creating the profile, Place voltage markers at the DC voltage and load resistor to measure input and output voltages. Now we're all set to run a simulation. Select the Run command from either the PSpice menu or the toolbar. Step 6. Results and Analysis In the simulation graph, the red waveform is the voltage level across the output, and the green waveform is the input voltage level. The voltage level at the output should be lower than the input. Here, we can see that the simulation gives the results we're looking for. Similarly, you can see the results in terms of the current levels. Replace the voltage markers with current markers and rerun the simulation. Here, you can see that the output current is higher than the input. 
With these steps, you should be able to easily create a piecewise project and run simulations using ORCAD Capture.